What is up, YouTube? Today, this is Justin Ava here, and I hope all of you are having a blessed day as possible. Even if it's the worst as possible, try to get out there and just be positive with yourself. That's all it takes. It just takes a couple minutes. Maybe put scent on. Maybe put, maybe put beautiful music into 432 hertz. Manifest something. Meditate. Do whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable with yourself so you feel good about yourself. So you could feel at your best state. So, anyways, uh, I haven't made a video in a while. But, you know, I choose to make a video uh, talking about, you know, what we gotta understand. You know, uh... You know, there's a lot of stuff happening around the world and, you know, there's a lot of things taking place at one, uh, one situation to the other. And we got to understand as people that this world is kind of like a script, basically. It's kind of like a, you know, a moving basis, you know, it's like a script into you know a book of violence or a book of you know each each script has its own own uh how how could you say it it has its own part of life it's like a movie you know how many times i could be saying it but you know and i'm gonna get what i'm gonna be talking about but it's like a big script, you know, written to one day have all that, you know, pressure on yourselves to understand that, you know, we are all on this planet to experience this and to know that we shouldn't be fearing about this stuff and that we, sh we should know that we have another life after this and that's the reason why we have to experience this stuff in order for there to be a good on this world so anyways um like i was talking uh i'm gonna be talking about uh you know the what how to find happiness with yourself and this is, you know, I always get asked this a lot in my lifetime and, you know, with people, you know, people day and age. I know that we all go through this and, it, you know, it's not, it's not a matter of, you know, you know, it's not a matter of uh, who's the best person at being happy or who's the best person to outrun you on each scenario in life. So... I want to show you guys uh, some tips on how to stay happy with yourself. And hear me out when I'm saying this. Just because I'm not famous, you know, people look up for to famous people on happiness or any care. But this is coming from me as, as a spiritual being or a spiritual level. I want to show you guys how to stay happy with yourself. Now, one thing I've always learned in life about staying happy is to always focus on something that you enjoy now i'm gonna get into a lot of other details now this is gonna be five okay and what what you have to understand is when you find something challenging or something you want to do you really find that motive to find out something that you are good with now, if you are good with technology or you are good with any type of job that you wanting to do in the future, it's a good time to understand that that is making you happy. You know, it may be seem boring at first, you know, you may not like it, but at the same time, when you start realizing that all those hard obstacles pay off and it tends to make you happy, when you're doing it because you understand that one day maybe I can get that job and understand that I was happy my whole life doing this you know and I feel like we all 
we all find ourselves in a position where we we get stuck you know we get stuck in this you know oh i i got stuck because i i didn't continue my job you know because of how unhappy i was and that took me a long time to understand myself on certain times where I felt like I wasn't going to be able to do this in the future. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still doing it as I keep going and growing and growing up and never stop your goals. Number two. Number two is to uh, find a... You know, when I'm when I'm feeling unhappy, you know, I usually meditate. And that's the best advice I can give you for being happy with yourself is meditating. Now, when you are meditating, find your rhythm that makes you feel your best self. When you have a rhythm with your breath, it's kind of like a music instrument. When you when you are breathing and like having that that breathing technique or a breathing routine, it's like an instrument. You want to make it into a good rhythm. You know what I'm saying? And as you keep doing that, you can you could do whatever you want, you know. Feel comfortable with yourself. Have a comfortable breathing rhythm. And as you keep doing that, you know, you're going to start be more relaxation with yourself and your thoughts are going to understand that the way you're doing this breath cycle your thoughts are going to understand that you are having a relaxation with yourself and it's clearing out all that negative thoughts that you've been thinking of today. So that's the best advice I can give to you is meditation and people aren't going to do it. But at the same time, just put in the effort, effort, put in, you know, a couple minutes or, you know, a, one second. No, no, one second. But Put in a couple seconds of meditation just for once. Put your phone down, listen to music, listen to relaxation music. Just do it for once. It will help you and it will save your life. I promise you. Number three. Number three is uh, very important and uh, it has to do... Now, you may think to yourself, you know, I'm talking about spiritual because, you know being spiritual is going to make you happy. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, but the way I found happiness is, is knowing what's bad and good. Now, when, when I was in different states, I learned to myself that something doesn't feel right. Something feels bad to myself. And the reason being for that is that I was actually being unhappy with myself. Because I felt that bad, you know, that bad situation, you know, it, it came to me. So I'm feeling unhappy about myself. When you do something bad, you're obviously going to feel unhappy about yourself. And that when you think of a past or you think of something that you did a couple minutes ago or a couple days ago, you're going to start feeling unhappy about yourself and you're going to keep thinking about these thoughts and at that time, you feel happy about yourself, but when you realize that the thoughts are in the background of your head, and they will come to you when you think about it, when you think of, wow, tomorrow's going to be a bad day for me. And this has to relate to thinking of thoughts, and that's what's making you unhappy. The thoughts are in your un your background. It's kind of like a picture, you know? When you take a picture, you know, you have that background. So you're in the front and, you know, however you would describe it, you're in the you're in the front and your emotions are in the background of the picture. And that's the reason why I'm saying don't think of thoughts when you're in a process of un being unhappy with yourself. The only way you could stay happy with yourself is to stop thinking about unhappy thoughts. Try to limit yourself with something that makes you active in that moment and i'm telling you it's crazy to think of that number four you know 
It's come a point in time that there is no cure for happiness once and for all because we've all experienced this and, you know, it's kind of important that we need to understand that we all go through this. And when, f when number four comes into place, it has to do with knowing, you know, knowing that we all go through this and this is humanity and... I think it's important that we have to understand that we all go through this and we have to think to ourselves for a minute and really understand or start talking to people about their emotions. Now, it's not always a good thing to talk to other people about their emotions but at the same time you want to get something out of them so you understand that they could be on the same basis as you but they're just not going to tell you now i'm not saying that going out into public and asking your friends oh i need help with your emotion what emotions are you going through right now never ask someone about emotions but i'm talking about you want to get a little information out of them because this shows that you probably aren't the only one going through emotions and it's true. You're always going to feel like you're the only one with emotions, but you're in reality, you're not. Just people aren't showing it. So you're obviously going to be at your lower self thinking you're the only one going through this. Now, it's a really good time to talk about something or talk about emotion that you're going through and your friend is on the same basis as you and that took me time to realize that that's what i had to do in order to be happy with myself is to talk to people about emotions i can't i can't learn to bottle it in because it groups up into a mega you know mega mega negative attraction meaning you know it ends up into depression or mental illness and that's the reason why if i bottle it in as much and i don't get it out there to people i'm soon later going to get depression or mental illness because it groups up like i said but uh anyways um i think it's very important that number four comes into talking to people about emotions and i know you don't feel comfortable with it but it's a very big point to understand that getting something out there achieves something to you it makes you feel happy about yourself for getting it out there if that makes sense number five the last one uh i forgot what number five was <laughs> And I'm making a video about this. Um, I do remember. Uh, I want to talk about, you know, I want you to realize something that, you know, we all go through this. You know, like I said in my fourth. We all go through emotions and it's not, you know, it's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. What I... What also makes me happy is exercising. Exercising on a, a, uh, so when the sun is out, you want to be exercising with the sun on top of you. And the reason I say that is put some sunscreen on, work out in the sun, because it's one of the best experiences of your life because you're getting a much, as much sun and you are working out and that sweat is like so much work on you. And that's the reason why once you stop working out into the sun, later you're gonna find yourself in a position where you feel active about yourself. And that's the reason why when you exercise in the sun, it feels so warm to the point like you just wanna you know <laughs> rage i'm guessing but it's a very good time to be happy with yourself working out in the sun but anyways i went over <laughs> one minute couple but um 
I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day as always. And, uh, you know, I'm always here to talk and I'm going to keep trying to make my videos possible because I want to grow a base. You know, I want to grow a community so I can help people with what they're going through. And as I keep making these videos, I grow as a person and my intelligence comes in as I keep making videos. And I've noticed it myself. But other people don't. But um, I wish you all the best of luck. Stay positive with yourself. At least try to talk to people. Try to brighten up their day. Because anything and any word that comes into their, their life makes them special. Whether or not you believe it or not. But I love you all. I hope this helped. Um... I think I might make another video about it.